Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Hi everyone, Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch. We are anticipating fringe effects from a storm developing to our south heading into the day tomorrow. That will bring us periods of light snow and snow showers off and on through the course of the day tomorrow and anywhere between a coating to around an inch or so for most of the state. There could be some isolated two inch amounts, but again, I think that's the exception and roads are generally okay because the light snow will be kind of off and on road crews will have a chance to kind of keep up with things, but I can't rule out a few slippery spots. So again, here is our going forecast for the day tomorrow, and I think most schools will likely stay open. I can't rule out a few early dismissals. I think many superintendents might be scared of what happened earlier this week, uh, but others will choose to have a full day. So taking a look heading into Friday morning, there's some light snow beginning to develop. This is 830. I think the morning commute is all right, and then here it goes. It fills in a little bit more as we head through the afternoon. But again, keep in mind anything that you see here on the radar is going to be very light in nature and we'll see things continue to wind down as we head into Friday evening. But even after this comes to an end, we're talking about a different kind of weather and that is the cold and likely the coldest air that we've seen so far this season. Friday night into Saturday morning, the Hartford area will see overnight lows around 10 degrees. That's the coldest since last February and taking a look at the wind chills as we head towards daybreak on Saturday will be down around the single digits and even close to zero for the New Haven area Friday night into Saturday overnight lows will be in the upper teens again that is the coldest since February of last year and the shoreline is also looking at wind chills that will drop back near zero for your day on Saturday we'll see high temperatures in the 20s, but keep in mind with a gusty breeze through the course of the day, it could feel like the single digits much of the time during the day on Saturday. So that's what you're going to need to dress for. If you have anything to do outside, it remains sunny, breezy and cold heading into your Sunday. A new thing to the forecast that I forgot to previously mention, there is a chance for a few flurries on Saturday afternoon as well. So we'll be watching that. It doesn't look like it amounts to a whole lot though, or really impacts your day. The cold is really the bigger story heading into this weekend. And then we do have a big rebound in temperatures as we head into next week as we go from 20s to 30s to 40s. Late Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, we could see a brief period of snow or a wintry mix that would change over to rain during the day on Wednesday as temperatures continue to climb. But there could be some minor snow accumulation before that ends up happening. And then we're up close to 50 by this time next week with rain showers in the forecast. Your shoreline seven day 20s to around 30 degrees the next several days and then 30s and 40s heading through next week.